guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Say hi. Say hi, DC good boy, you good boy. So as you guys can see by the title, today's video is going to be a feeding all my pets video. I have been filming this video over the past couple days for you guys. I haven't filmed a video like this in a really long time, so I really wanted to do one and get it out to you guys because I know that you enjoy them. You guys know recently on my channel, I've been doing tons of fish tank and snail videos and things like that. But today I really wanted to do a video where I could show you guys all of my animals and you guys could enjoy watching me feed them and watching them eat because I think that's really fun. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe and also hit the notification bell down below. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I feed all of my pets on a day-to-day -day and every other day or every third day basis, depending on the animal. Some of my pets eat every day and some of them eat every other day to every third day, depending on which one it is. That's why I had to film all of these clips over the course of a couple days so that I could show you guys me feeding all of them. I really enjoyed filming this for you guys. I hope that you enjoy. We have to pick all of Blue's weeds. So I basically just come outside literally and then I pick any clover or dandelion, plantain, whatever I can find that's freshly grown. And then I just put it in my bowl of water. Basically any dandelion weeds. I do prefer the rounded ones, but any will do. I also pick plantain leaves. He really loves those. And those are actually really good for Mediterranean tortoises. The birds out here, oh my goodness. All right, I think that's really good. We're just gonna make sure to give it a good soak and then we will be able to feed this to him. All right, here we are in Blue's enclosure. He has destroyed his water, which I changed yesterday. Of course he did, you're naughty. You're so naughty. All right, so we're just gonna take his greens that have been soaking really good and we're gonna feed him because I know he's hungry, aren't you, baby? I know, I know, you see me, huh? He always comes running when he sees me. Hey, Bubba. There we go. Ooh, we've got a bunch for you today. He's gonna be so happy. Good boy. I did a little bit of Reptivite on his food today and he's of course devouring it. I alternate between calcium and Reptivite usually like every couple days. And then we're of course gonna give him some more water. Always provide your turtles and tortoises with plenty of water because Blue does drink. I've seen him drink several times out of his water and I know that he uses it. So sometimes he'll also lay in it and soak if he just feels like it. So it's always important to offer it. But yeah, that's how I feed Blue Boo. He's such a good boy. All right, the next pet that we are going to feed is my turtle. I have an Eastern box turtle who's a rescue named Koa. These are all of the foods that I pretty much feed him every other day. Those are his vet's orders. He doesn't eat every single day. And today is feeding time. So we will be giving him one diced bell pepper without the seeds, some romaine lettuce, one small cherry tomato, which I'll cut in half, some fresh strawberry, and then his worms. Now, Koa is the box turtle, so he can eat both meat and veggies. He is an omnivore. However, he prefers his worms, and he doesn't like to eat his vegetables, which are what help him go to the bathroom. So I do only feed him every other day. I will leave these veggies in there overnight, and then in the morning, he'll usually start eating them finally, because obviously he will be hungry tomorrow, and that helps him to eat his veggies. So we're gonna go on and chop up all these veggies and then we will feed him. Unlike tortoises, box turtles are omnivores and they can have both meat and veggies and fruit and it doesn't harm them. However, if you have a tortoise, like a Mediterranean tortoise, you don't wanna give them anything like fruit or strawberries. If you do give your tortoise anything like a piece of a strawberry or anything, I wouldn't recommend doing that more than like once a year. It really should be done very sparingly. All right, that is Koa's meal. He has two large night crawlers as well as a bunch of veggies and a little bit of fruit. And then I will sprinkle some calcium powder on this and that is his meal. He usually pulls his worms off his plate and then devours them in the substrate. Gets them all dirty. You a good boy. And then I also give him dechlorinated water. Turtles and tortoises can technically have tap water without being dechlorinated, but I like to dechlorinate their water just for good measure. Good job. And he's making a mess. And that is how I feed and water my box turtle. 
All right, so next we're gonna feed my hermit crabs. So these are some of the foods that I use for my hermit crabs. If you don't like any of these brands, you don't have to use them. You guys know I love to give my hermit crabs variety, but you're welcome to feed your hermit crabs whatever you think is best for them. But yeah, that is what my hermit crab food looks like. I need to change their food and also their waters. However, SpongeBob is in the water right now and I really don't wanna disturb him. Um, he is drinking, so I will be changing his water tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna disturb him tonight but we can go on and change this water as well as the food. He's just getting a good little soak in tonight. I did give them some new dechlorinated fresh water, I gave them some salt water, and then they have their food, and then I missed down their tank, and that is pretty much all I do for my hermit crabs. It is nighttime, so Mumu should be hearing me in here, and she'll probably wake up in just a second. Did you see good old day today? It's late, it's time for you to wake up. Moose food is really easy. I just give her one heaping scoop of her Burgess seed mix. And then I just give her a handful of her oxbow pellets, just like so. You heard mama, you heard me feeding you. You're such a beautiful girl. She's like, I want my worms. She'll find them, they're right there. Hello, I love you so much. Oh, she found the worms. She said nothing else matters in the world other than those worms, baby. Such a good girl, you're doing so good. And that is pretty much how I feed Momo every night. She hears me, she comes out demanding those little worms. <laughs> okay, so next we have Lemon. Lemon is my Pac-Man frog. She's a little over a year old now, and as you can see, she's super fat, super pretty and it is time to feed her. So we are gonna feed her some crickets and I'm also gonna dust them in her calcium powder that I have here. There's also a little bit of Reptivite in here as well. And then we are gonna feed her. Her water doesn't look too bad. She hasn't been in it, but I am gonna go on and change it out anyway while we are feeding her. Yeah, you hungry? She's gonna love these crickets. She loves her crickets. Here you go. Good girl. You ready for another one? Good girl. Let go, let go. Oh my goodness. I tong feed lemon so she gets very, very minimal eco earth in her food. Oh, get it. Good girl. Oh, yuck, I think its head like fell off. That's upsetting, but it's fine. You love your crickets, you're a good girl. So the next pet that we're gonna be feeding are actually my snails. If you guys have been following along with my fish tank journey, you guys know that I do have a snail tank and I feed them once a week and basically I just let them scavenge and they eat all the algae and everything out of here. But I only feed them once a week right now. I think that's a good amount because it keeps the population down. As you guys can see, I don't have any babies right now. Just my pretty big size snails. There's a really big bladder snail right here. He is literally doubled in size. I know it's really hard to see, but this is just a half a wafer and that's what I put in there, just like that. And then I do a tiny little pinch of Bug Bites food, not a lot at all. And as you can see, the wafer usually floats right down to the bottom and then they will be all over that wafer very shortly. So here we have my dog's food. This is my bigger dog, Dixie's bowl, and this is Milo, my little Yorkie's bowl. As you can see, I've already put their food in here, but I will tell you guys what it is. This is the brand of food that I choose to feed my dogs. It's a really, really good canned wet food by Whole Earth Farms with really, really good ingredients. Dixie gets the red meat recipe, and Milo, we do give him white meat recipes, so normally he'll either get chicken or turkey or salmon or some variation of that. This is the turkey and salmon one. He really likes this one. Milo gets a half a can and Dixie gets one and a half cans. And then I always put this topper on their food. Raw diets are really good for dogs. And these are basically Stella and Chewy's raw toppers. I really, really love these. Milo and Dixie absolutely love them. And I find that these freeze dry toppers are super quick and easy. They are a bit pricey. I think this bag comes at around $33, give or take. But this is the big bag and my dogs absolutely love it. And it is really, really good for them. And it gives them a little bit of raw on their food. Even if it's in a freeze dried form, it doesn't take away for it. It's still really, really good for them. I highly recommend these Stella and Chewies. I'm not sponsored or anything. Totally wish I was. But I find that these are really good quality and they really like them. Dizzy, are you hungry? 
My, are you so excited to eat? Yeah. Here you go. Good girl. Are you so hungry? Are you so ready to eat? Yes. Good boy. Good boy, my. Is it absolutely delicious? They always go straight for the raw toppers. That's their favorite. Dixie pretty much just devours whatever she can as quick as she can. That's why she has this slow feed bowl because she eats super, super fast. All right, so now it is time to feed my cats. As you can see, I have two plates. This plate is for Pumpkin, and this plate is for my other three cats. I do feed Pumpkin separately now because they kind of bully her and push her away from the food, so I just want to make sure she gets enough to eat, so I do feed her separately. Here I have their food. Um, this is just a food called Abound. It's a grain-free, wet cat food. It's an okay brand. It's not the greatest, but it is easily available. I do prefer to feed them the canned cat food um, by Whole Earth Farms, which is what I feed my dogs. But unfortunately, I'm out of the cat food for my Whole Earth Farm, so I do have this one right now. Also, for the last couple of months, in addition to the Abound or the Whole Earth Farms cat food, I usually swap those two up. I also take one of the mini cans. Obviously, this is a very tiny can. And I do feed the Fancy Feast as a treat. Now, I know Fancy Feast is by no means an excellent cat food. I am not trying to sell this as a good cat food. But this particular one, which is the Fish and Shrimp Feast, and it's the flaked version. It's the one with the dark blue label. My cats love this food. Obviously, I take one small can and I usually split it between the two plates as a treat on top of their food, only because this particular fancy feast, now I can't speak out for the other ones, but this one has whole pieces of fish and shrimp in it. Like literally, I'll show you, it has whole pieces of shrimp and I don't know, my cats just go crazy for it. So I have been giving this to them on top of their food just a little bit and they love it. That's just a personal decision. Yeah, they just really love it. But in general, I usually feed this primary primarily, and the Whole Earth Farm canned cat food, which I'm currently out of. My cats know I have the food out, so they're obviously very excited and very hungry. So, I know. I know. I know you're hungry. But I do want to show you guys really quick. As you can see, these are whole pieces of fish. You can see the whole pieces of shrimp here and whole pieces of fish. It's crazy. My cats go crazy for it, as you can hear. Hi. She's really wanting this food. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it for you, okay? This is a good girl, pumpkin. And that's how I feed my kitty cats. Last but not least, we have Bodie. Here's little Bodie Gator. He is angry at me as usual. I'm going to show you guys how I feed him. However, unfortunately, I cannot open the door and put his food in there. Um, I'm gonna have to wait till he falls asleep because he is always awake and he is always ready and willing to attack me whenever I open the door. Yes, little boat. Hi, buddy. I know you're so mad all the time. So Bodhi already has water. I filled his water up yesterday actually, but he does need food today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him some rapashi. Here I have his rapashi and then I just add some dechlorinated water in there and then we will mix it up and give it to him. That is how I mix my Crested Gecko's food. You don't want it too watery. You do want it on the thicker side. As soon as he falls asleep, I will be putting it in his enclosure. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me feed all of my pets. Again, some of these animals eat every day. Some of them eat every other day. They're all kind of on their own individual schedules. But I really enjoyed filming this for you and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. To all of you who have been subscribed to me for a very long time, just know how much I appreciate you. And all of you newcomers, I appreciate you as well. I'm doing a lot of really exciting things on this channel right now. I have a lot of really fun video ideas coming up very soon. I hope you guys are enjoying. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Be kind. Bye.